This is what it looks like. Being on patrol with the Border Patrol. We are working in elements, very remote areas. Here on the international boundary between the United States and Canada, there's no wall. This is the closest thing to a visible barrier between the two countries. Here, it's very different than where we worked or where I've worked on the southern border. George Furland has been a Border Patrol agent for the past 22 years. He and the other agents stationed in Holton are looking for footprints, vegetation that has been trampled down, twigs broken off of trees, any sign leading in a direction away from the border. From the disturbances we can tell, you know, if people or animals pass through. These are the types of patrols which lead to the Border Patrol catching illegal crossers like the eight Mexican nationals caught in Mars Hill late last month. Seven just crossed the border. You never know who's crossing, you know, what kind of uh, contraband they may be bringing into the United States or what kind of activities they intend to do once they enter. These agents rely heavily on the residents living by the border and partner agencies in law enforcement and non-law enforcement to help them catch criminals. Um, we can't be everywhere at once, and the more people we have as force multipliers to help us do our job is only a benefit. It's not their job to determine who stays and who goes or who is trying to come into the country for what reason. They patrol hundreds of miles of the main border looking for signs to keep Mainers safe. In Mars Hill, Samantha Sugarman, News Center, Maine.